Evening guys, welcome to the uh, stats update with the tables for uh, today, which is the 11th of August 2022. Not done one of these for uh, four or five weeks and there's been some changes. So uh, normal format, we'll look at the Northern League first. Most runs, uh, Sonal Dinusha of uh, a forward, it's a good player he is, isn't he? 729, highest score is still our friend Connor Rutland. Uh it's not been here for a while, representing the uh, British Border Force, I think, at the moment. Uh, he's 164 is his highest score, and 22 sixes he's got. That's still the highest there. Interesting to see if he comes back next year as a pro, see if he's allowed. Uh, that's a, a point to discuss. Most ducks, Harry Lee of Kendall. That's disappointing, that, because he, he bats quite high up, doesn't he? Uh, he's got six ducks. Bowling wise, our friend Son Ildenusha of uh, a forward, 46 wickets. Best bowling figures, Jamie Thompson's been overtaken. Curtis Watson got seven for six for Leyland at uh, at Vernon's at the weekend. Uh, that was a bit distressing, that nine all out. Uh, I mean, the pro batted 32 balls for four not out, didn't even go for it. That was quite a bit disappointing there. Vernon's uh, getting uh, acclimatised to go back to the Palace Shield, I think. Uh, best strike rate, Dylan Henschel of Blackpool, 16.4. Best economy, economy rate, Sagar Odeshi, who played for Netherfield, 1.37. You have to have all 20 overs to get into those. Most catches fielding-wise, Punit Bisht and Sonal Danusha, uh, 11 each. And most dismissals oh, for a wicketkeeper, James Bradley of St Anne's, a new entry, 25. Uh, and then we'll uh, go on to the table. Garstang at the top, 207. I think it's their titles, only six games left. Fullwood, 167. Bit of a surprise. Blackpool, 161. St. Anne's, 154. Chorley, 140. I know what the Garstang lot are asking. Where are Longridge? Flipping it. I think they might have got lost. Uh, Chorley, 140. Netherfield, 136. Longridge, 135. Definitely mid-table there, just below. Leyland, 116. Kendall, 111. Penrith, 110. And then the two at the bottom, Lancaster 89 and Vernon Carus 39, dropping off the bottom of the coop. And there, when we look at the Palace Shield, we'll talk about the possibilities there because it's not nailed on. But Lancaster and Vernon's are both in those uh, in those relegation places. We move on to the Palace Shield. Batting wise, Lewis Smith of Morecambe 561, and he's got higher score 136 as well. Uh, Pen with them's overseas, Kristen Yearwood, 27 sixes. And David Hewson, a new entry from Eccleston, seven ducks. That's a bloody good effort to get seven ducks. Well done, mate. Uh, most wickets in a bowling, Zach Corker and a Fleetwood, 48. Reese Thomas of Eccleston, still up there, nine for 31 as the best performance. Uh, he's quite sharp, him. I've watched him a couple of times. Best strike rate, new entry, Charlie Parkinson of Torrizome, 10.5. That's pretty good. Uh, and again, you've got to bowl 20 overs. And best economy rate, Will Proctor of Great Eccleston, 2.52. They're going to be discussed in a minute. Uh, most catches fielding-wise, Alex Briggs and Morecambe, 15. Can he hold on to the Morecambe captaincy? That's what we're asking. And um, wicketkeeper, Harry McAleer of Fleetwood, he's taken 27 dismissals. <clears throat> Excuse me, looking at the table, uh, Fleetwood, 169. They're, they're promoted, only six games left. Great Eccleston, 134. Eccleston 130, Morecambe 128, Exton 123, Thornton Cleveland is 117, Penwitham 106, Preston 104, Torrison 104, Kirkham 95, Barrow 65, Croston 59. Well, Barrow and Croston will be getting relegated to Division 1A because um, two teams will come up from that. At the top, it's interesting. Fleetwood will go. <clears throat> um, Remains to be seen whether Great Eccleston think they've got the infrastructure to go. Same goes for Eccleston and same goes for Exton if they get there. I'm sure Morecambe will accept the promotion. They're a, a long-established Northern League club. They'll accept promotion. But if second place is Great Eccleston, Eccleston or Exton, or even Thornton Cleveland, will one of those become the first club to decline promotion to the Northern League? And <clears throat> in that case, that would save Lancaster. Move on to the Westmoreland League. Uh, not many changes here. Ben Phillips, 611 runs, and he's also got top score of 137. Dave Jack's got the highest number of official sixes, 21. 
And the most ducks is uh, Luke Trope of Kirby Lonsdale and Robert White of Bear, six each. I'm surprised with Robert White there because he's quite a good bat. In fact, he's a good all-rounder, to be fair. Most wickets, Thomas Shuker finally come to the top, hasn't he? 40 for Kendall. Johnny Maffrey's of uh, Cedric is still on with the best bowling analysis, 8 for 36. Best strike rate, Curtis Nicholson of Burnside. He just sneaks in there. He's just bowled enough overs, 15.82. And the best economy rate, James Parkinson of Millthorpe, 1.6. That's pretty decent. Fielding-wise, Lee Calverley of Hesham, 11 catches. And Damian Keegan of Hesham, he's got uh, 18 dismissals as a wicketkeeper. That's why they're up near the top. Now, Westgate, 167. Hesham, 166. Shireshead, 143. Burnside, 113. Sedgwick, 104. Bear, 97. Arnside, 96. Wharton 94, Kendall second 72, Milthorpe 63, Sedber School 50, but we can ignore them. Kirby Lonsdale 18. Um, so it appears Kirby Lonsdale will be relegated, but it's a bit uh, it's a bit more fluid in the Western League. We're not sure who's going to come down from the Northern League, uh, from, sorry, from the Palace Shield Division 1B. Uh, but that'll be Morecambe, I guess. Who's going to go up uh, from... Uh, Westman League Division 2, uh, so all those things. Are the, are the Westman League champions going to accept the move into the Palace Shield? Westgate currently 167, coins in the air there. They've done a lot of work, they're looking to progress as a club. Eastern 166, not sure whether they'll go, they might do. Uh, they seem quite progressive. It's going to be between those two, because I think Shai said they're 23 points behind, they've got a game in hand, they're just too far behind. So it's going to be Westgate or Eastern that have got the big decision. Thanks for watching, guys. And the next update will be at the end of the season following all the games. And hopefully then we've got a bit more certainty about promotion. Keep up your cricket. Hopefully you have a good weekend. Don't get too much sunburn. And hope none of these umpires call these games off for uh, for the conditions being too sunny and too hot and heat, heat exhaustion. We wouldn't want that, would we? Thanks for watching, guys.